What is going on, people? Today, I want to dive a bit more into the Alpha 2 speculation, not only because it's fun, but I am also running low on content and can't stretch a single live stream through an entire month. So we're going to dive into what we know and what I think about some of the other zones that Intrepid has in store for us. And just to put it out there, I know there are leaks. I'm not discussing the leaks because that kind of takes away from all the hard work that the intrepid devs are putting into the game. And I don't want to be that person because somebody made a mistake. But before we get too far into this, did you know that 79.1% of you watching this content still aren't subscribed? That means almost 80% of you aren't being notified by all of the new Ashes of Creation content. And if you're watching this, you probably have some interest in the game. So click that subscribe button. In the August live stream, we got our first look at the redesigned world map of Vera, along with the names of some zones that are going to be in the world, which most of you already know. With this, Steven also confirmed some of the zones that we are going to see in Alpha 2, being the Riverlands, the Desert, the Jungle, and a little bit of the Badlands, among other zones. So what exactly will the map look like when we jump into Alpha 2, and what are those other zones? So if you look at this map, Intrepid has very clearly included some zone names while excluding others. This could mean that some of the names aren't finalized yet or they're still working on it or it could be a tease for what we can expect for the start of alpha 2 and honestly the names that are listed really make sense and lines up to what we know intrepid has been working on for the map and what we've seen already on the map for name zones first we have the dunzenkel mountains these mountains you can assume are somehow related to the dwarves we know on the old map that the dwarven starting zones were in the tropics and in this zone known as the tabletop mountains but that was before the dwarves went through some major Major changes as well so they really could have moved the starting zones too we don't really know but i don't have a clue what to expect for this zone we've seen tons of concept for its neighbor zone the tabletop mounds but these dunsical mounds we haven't really seen anything for so it's hard to say i imagine it will be some traditional dwarven architecture built into the mountains for you to explore with the climate being somewhere between a snowy mountain and a foresty rocky zone as it is the most northern zone and you can see a hint of snow and forest here on the map. South of here, we have the unnamed tropics, tabletop mounds, and this forest area. And then this zone, which is the Badlands. This is what really throws me off here with my theory. As Steven said, we will see some of the Badlands, but it has no name with it. So I think we're probably only going to see a very small portion of this zone connected to the Riverlands and not the entire zone. The tropics also we know was in a presentable state in Alpha 1. This was basically the main biome for the Alpha, so the fact that it's not in Alpha 2 is pretty interesting to me. It could be going through through some significant changes since we last saw it, or maybe Intrepid wants to give us something new. We also know that we didn't see the whole Tropic Zones in Alpha 1 either. So if it is excluded from Alpha 2, I wouldn't be surprised if they are going through it and fixing it up and finishing it. We then have the Kayla Riverlands, home to the Kalar humans. We have seen quite a bit of this zone through the seasons video and the combat preview, which is a grassy open zone with rivers running through it and tons of ancient ruins from the old civilization before the fall of Vera. This zone rotates on a regular season cycle that a lot of us know being fall, winter, spring, and summer with fall being the leaves fall off the trees, winter being lots of snow, spring being wet and rainy, and summer being hot and humid. Although you can't really feel the humidity in the game so i don't know why i said that from there we have the san squall desert which we got our first look at a couple months ago as well home to the valoon humans this zone is a desert ranging from the sandy dunes to the rocky mountains and we know has some tie to the ancients which were the reason for the fall of era to begin with on the other side of the riverlands we have the jundark which is a jungle area another mysterious zone but not as mysterious as the duns and mounds as we have seen some concept art pieces for this area just no gameplay as of yet i am Imagine this zone will have a more rainforest feel to it based off the concept art with dense foliage, waterfalls, and trees hiding the skies from the player. Between the Kayla Riverlands and the Jundark is this mountainy region which was once the volcanic region. The volcanic region appears to have been expanded and moved to the other side of the map though, so what this region is now is unknown. It's very small compared to the rest of the zone, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's not even its own zone anymore and tied to the Riverlands. It could still be a volcanic area or it could be something completely different. Then, on the other side of the world, in the continent known as Illyrium, we have the Frostgrave Fells. This zone, I believe, is what we saw in the Unreal 5 engine showcase. I could be wrong on this, but the mountain-esque snowy regions with the icy ponds and rivers seem to match up pretty well. And really, the only other option for the Unreal showcase 
would be over on the island of Sujoma, which would also make sense as we saw some dwarven architecture in the showcase, and this island is pretty close to the dwarven land, so it could be either of them, but I have a feeling they're gonna have a similar feel when it comes to the biome. But if my theory is correct, then those are the zones you will be seeing in Alpha 2, along with the islands of Drakathbor and Pelagora. And I have a feeling my theory is going to be pretty spot on, but again, I could be wrong. It just makes sense for what Intrepid has shown us so far, and why would they show us the names of only half the world? We also know that before the world map changes, we were going to see about half the world in Alpha 2, so it kind of lines up with what we've been expecting. Naval gameplay is going to be a huge part of Alpha 2 as well and require tons of testing to nail down and get the bugs out so the islands also make a lot of sense to give players spots to land and to explore out on the seas how exactly you will traverse through these zones will be interesting intrepid could just not have these zones present with water in between giving more naval content or they could do invisible walls blocking you out and i imagine we'll probably get the invisible walls as we are really far into development and i'd imagine the base of the world should be pretty well put together also it'll be fun to see all the people try to escape through the walls to see the uncompleted zones but what zones do you think we will be seeing in alpha 2 drop a comment down below and if you're new to ashes and have yet to create an account to jump in on the forums or really just ready yourself for the world of vera then feel free to use my referral link in the description below and as always be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come